So I want to have a conversation about how we get people involved in construction planning and scheduling. A lot of companies are coming to Plan Academy to get their entire teams trained. We want to get everybody kind of at the same level on a level playing field. And since I've been involved in training people in this industry for so long, so many years, here's a couple, here's one of the important things that I see a lot. And it's making the, the, the distinction between understanding CPM scheduling and understanding software. And I find sometimes we get, you know, people who are new to this get confused. They start to think about CPM scheduling as being something that is inherent in a piece of software. So, so let me give you an example. What I see sometimes with new planners and schedulers is they get introduced to this concept of say total float or free float or maybe even driving relationships. Some of these core fundamental things that are part of CPM scheduling. And because they haven't, uh, they don't have a broad enough education on this, they think these concepts like this idea of total float is something that the software it's something inherent in a piece of software like P6. So they think total float is a P6 thing, or they think a driving relationship is a P6 thing, when obviously it's not, right? These are concepts that are inherent in critical path methodology, which is something that's way older than Primavera P6. So for me, when I get a cohort of people from a company and I wanna train them up and get them all at the same level, like one of the things that I, think is so important is getting back to fundamentals and starting at fundamentals. And that means that I often train people on CPM scheduling without software. So we have this great course, construction planning and scheduling. Here it is, the construction planning and scheduling theory course we did in collaboration with Dr. Sally Mubarak. So that course talks about planning and scheduling and introduces the whole theory of critical path management in all these concepts before we even sit down and look at a piece of software like Primavera P6. So I want people to understand those concepts first. What is a driving relationship? Why is network logic so important? Why do we need to link all that stuff together? Leads, lags, calendars, all that stuff has to be understood without software to confuse it first. And then once we've got that, then we can go to say a P6 foundations course that we have, or even get them ready to take an advanced level course. But it's important to understand those foundations. So that's why I say train on foundations first, then train on software.